Today I will be sharing another easy card with you and this time we will be using vellum with artist markers. Stay tuned. Since I have been unwell, I have been focusing more on cards that are easy to create and this is one of those cards. Just a bit of embossing and stress-free coloring and you end up with a pretty card. So this is the Paint a Flower White Swan Ignatia Outline Stamp Set and this is kind of daisy like a flower. I'm sharing one more card on the blog where I have colored this in a daisy like manner but a little artsy. It is completely different from the one that I'm sharing here. Now I have this thick vellum and it is 180 GSM. It is quite sturdy. It's really good for delicate images. And I will prep this very well with anti-static powder so that my embossing powder doesn't stick everywhere. Then I will use embossing ink to stamp the image twice. I forgot to put my stamping mat beneath the vellum so I'm making sure I press the block firmly. Then I will pour over white embossing powder and heat set it. When I'm working with vellum, I usually first use the heat tool from the back side as I have noticed the powder tends to fly off. Also keep moving that heat tool of yours, don't keep it on one portion for a long time because this results in warping. Now as you can see I will start by adding the darker pigment uh, near the flower center. This is the ruby light artist marker and then I will take the lighter of the two markers, this is Pinkalicious and I will blend out the darker pigment towards the tip of the petal. This will give me a very smooth transition. It's not really necessary for you to do this, but this results in a smooth transition. That's why I went with a dark color first and then adding a lighter color to blend out that dark pigment. You can use just one color as well, just the dark one, the ruby light, and it will look very nice. Or you can even do it uh, the opposite way, apply light color and then add dark color to it that will give you a very mottled effect. So you have like three ways to do it. One, use one color or use this easier way that I am showing, applying dark color and then blending it out with a light one or the other one which gives the appearance of a mottled look by applying light color first and then adding a stippling of dark color. For the teals, I will use Galactic Stream first in the same manner applying dark color first near the flower center and then blending it out towards the tip of the petals with aqualicious marker. Once I'm done coloring the teal flower I will move on to the flower centers. I will first apply the maple yellow in a C shape just to give the dome kind of a shape and I will apply fresh lemon on the top portion and just look at that. See how clear that C shape is, that shading is very very visible, that is why I'm using two shades of a marker. The depth is quite visible even on this thick vellum. For the purples I'm using ultraviolet and hydrangea. I will apply ultraviolet near the flower center and then I will blend out uh, this uh, darker pigment with hydrangea artist marker. For the leaves, I will be using mountain pine and grass field. I will apply mountain pine in places that I want to show a darker color first, like closer to the flowers or where they are under the petals. It's really not necessary, you will not be able to see the leaves are very thin. But because I was doing this with the flowers, I followed the same thing and did it with the leaves as well. And uh, so the next color that I'll be using is grass field to blend out the mountain pine. Again, really not necessary to do the leaves, you can just use one color. Because in some places I did that, I used just one color and you really cannot tell. These are very thin leaves and very thin stems. Once done, I will fussy cut these two images out. 
I'm very frugal when it comes to using the double-sided adhesive sheet. So you'll see me here just tracing out the area I want and that is the lower portion of my card. Once I have cut this out, I will adhere this onto the lower portion of my card front. Before removing the backing of the adhesive sheet, I will first add black paint splatters and let them dry. Then I will remove the backing of the double-sided adhesive sheet and adhere my fussy cut images. Next, I will stamp the sentiment in obsidian ink and that's it. My card is done. I will just mount this onto the card base and this is ready to be sent out. I hope you liked my easy vellum card. This does look very pretty in person. This is something that you can definitely send to your friends and it is so easy to make. I'm sharing one more card on the blog. That one, I really enjoyed coloring. I have colored a dark background with white flowers and given them a little bit of shading. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye. Hello there. Did that video just spark your creativity? And do you want more project ideas and inspiration videos too? Well, if you do, please make sure that you subscribe to the Alt New YouTube channel. Also, make sure that you do click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.